Hi everyone, today we are going to be talking about chapter 6, Energy, Work and Power. Work is done when a force produces motion in the direction of the force. So let's look at this example of um, perhaps a prisoner pushing against a wall. He pushes against a wall and he becomes exhausted but the wall does not move. Is there work done? The answer would be no, the wall does not move and therefore work is not done because it must produce motion in the direction of the force. So for work, the formula is W equals to F times D. Work done is equal to force times the distance moved in direction of the force. W is the work done by the force, F is the force on the object, and D is the distance moved by the object in direction of the force. So the SI unit of work is the joule. The symbol is J. Work is a scalar quantity. No work is done when force is applied on the object, but the object does not move, like the example that we showed you earlier. However, no work is also done when the direction of the applied force and the direction in which the object moves are perpendicular to each other. One joule of work is done when a force of one newton moves an object one meter in the direction of the force. There will be one joule of work. Alright, so now let's try a simple example. A force of 20 newtons is applied to a box and it moves from A to B in the direction shown. The force in this case is to the right. Calculate the work done. Please pause the video here and complete the question. Okay, let's go through the answers. The work done will be equal to force times distance move in the direction of the force. So the force is 20 newtons and the distance move is 3 meters. So it should be 20 times 3 getting you 60 joules. So to recap, no work is done when the direction of the applied force and the direction in which the object moves are perpendicular to each other. So, in this case, this plane is moving to the right. Imagine Spider-Man attached to the plane and pulling downwards. Now, is Spider-Man doing any work on this plane? The answer is no, because Spider-Man is pulling downwards. However, the plane is not moving downwards in any capacity. It's only moving to the right. For the plane is not moving towards the direction of Spider-Man's pull at all. Spider-Man is not doing any work on the plane.